The Murat Salam Mohammed Area Command of the Nigeria Customs Service has handed over seized explosives and suspected fake drugs valued at 49.7 million naira to relevant collaborative agencies in Lagos. The explosives, which came in as helium compressors, cartridges, power, and radioactive materials since 2017, were seized when the importer could not produce the end user certificate. TVC News correspondent Ifunaya Eze reports. The controller of the Mutala Mohammed Area Command, Sambu Dangaladima, revealed that the imported explosives, which were in 35 packages, triggered officers' suspicion when an end user certificate was not provided. Signing the handover note with officers of the Police Explosives Ordinance Disposal, he knows that tackling dangerous importation such as this requires collaborative synergy more so with the ravaging high wave of insecurity in the country. It is companies that bring them in or some individuals that are doing certain things which we don't know. But when you have this, in, you must to come down to the regulatory agencies and they talk to them, look at, get all your permits and then do the right thing. We have to take it out because it's long overdue, number one. Number two, they didn't bring it with the end user certificate through the right channel. In this case, they brought them into the country without due permit since 2017 and 2018. And these are dangerous to this facility and even the entire facility. If it's left like this, you know, all these uh, items are explosives. Observing the handover formalities with officials of the National Agency for Food and Drugs Administration and Control, he knows that the influx of fake medicaments into the country is disturbing especially with the frequent seizures of hard drugs and fake medicaments at seaports and the airports. There is no NAVDAC number on this. So we don't know what is the dosage, what, how it is prepared, where is it coming from and co. So that is why we seize it. And then we hand it over to NAVDAC to do the needful. Do the right thing and follow the due process. Import a correct dosage of the drug, encode the correct one. Not that this one that will cause problems into, into the country, our citizens. This could lead to kidney failure and more especially drug resistance. I saw glucophage here um, for treatment of uh, diabetics, which if we don't get the drug right, it can degenerate to a lot of diseases. He also gave insight into the command's revenue profile for November, which he says stands at 5.5 billion naira, indicating a 31.2% increase over the revenue figure generated within the same period in 2020. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.